All right, so back to this. Yeah, I'll say again, as per usual, I didn't anticipate making another one of these videos. However, I'm realizing now that in the past one I did, you know, the one I did just yesterday, uh, Amori is Sunny Guilty, right? I realized something in that I said it would be Amori is Sunny and Basil Guilty, right? Or are Sunny and Basil Guilty? And I realized I just never talked about Basil. I only ended up talking about Sunny. So this one is kind of a follow up part two to that. This one's going to be talking about Basil. Because for Sunny, again, that was my whole point, right? I was talking about how, obviously, from a legal sense, Sonny is guilty, but from, let's say, a moral and psychological sense, right, perspective, he paid off his debt, like, you know, he paid off that guilt, assuming, assuming that you got the true good ending, right, any other ending he obviously wouldn't have, but if, assuming you got the good ending, right, I'd say he's paid off his guilt then, right, so again, paid his, uh, paid his, uh, fair share, right, so, from due to his actions again his actions being specifically not only accidentally killing Mari which isn't the issue but then going on to hang her and then cover up her death right which again still like I said I actually understand why he did it right you know I made a video on that why he hung Mari uh but again doesn't make it right you know but again and that's the whole reason of him telling the truth and why that's being important and him sort of what would you call it uh pain retribution for that right you know and him finally coming to terms to accept reality what mari actually wanted from this whole time so there's that right that's the portion about sunny for basil however I'm, I'm not so uh what would you call it uh, i'm gonna be i'm not so uh lenient with him right because basil his situation his kind of role in it is interesting to say at least right originally when i played through i thought that basil simply saw and didn't do anything right and my uh what's it called my sort of interpretation that was he well not necessarily that he didn't have the courage to say anything but more so that since sunny was a close friend of his and i guess the closest friend he had it was something to work not even necessarily that he didn't want anything to happen to him but he he almost didn't want to i guess you know put sunny in such a situation if anything he wanted sunny to come clean more than anyone else i guess excluding mari since he all he again since he knew right so if anything i think he he didn't want to put that on sunny because he wanted to see sunny do it himself in a sense right? that was my original interpretation however after I played through the Kikomori route and after learning some more about the game, I realized that not only was Basil there and not, or he, not only was he there, right? And he did not just see him like I originally thought, but he actually helped and he was the one who tied the noose. So it's like all of a sudden, you know, that makes him an accomplice, right? That uh, makes him, you know, that puts him on equal parts with Sonny there, right? In terms of not killing with him, but actually covering up and, uh, what would you call it, obscuring the truth regarding, you know, Mari's death, right, regarding her passing. And, again, that's what the door of the... I, I learned of this, right, you know? I actually learned of it, I think, fairly soon after. I'm not sure if I knew it by my actual Kikamori route playthrough parts, parts one and two. But definitely, you know, soon after, right? And I think I figured it out through, um, I don't even think there was anything in the Kikomori route for it. I think it was just on my own, like, because by that point I was going through, like, the wiki to try and figure shit out. So I think at, at some point it came to me, right? And I think, again, it was through, like, looking at through the pictures one more time, because I think it actually does show Basil tying the noose there. But anyway, something to where, and it was cemented when, again, you know, I talked about this in my character thoughts and opinions video, again, about Basil. I got in an argument with a basil apologist, right? Saying that, oh, you know, basil's, you know, that basil did unironically did nothing wrong. I still can't believe you. Like, that's why it's like, that's why I don't associate with these communities and fandoms. Because they're all just fucking insane, right? Like, they're legit trying to argue that basil did nothing wrong. And it's like, come on, dude. That's why, again, you know, and I guess relating to this video, basil's guilty 100%. He deserved everything that happened to him. Because here's the thing, right? And uh, granted, I don't know why Omokat, the creator, did this. Because I do think it's a lot more interesting 
to simply have Basil be an onlooker and have that like internal debate of does he come clean? Does he wait for Sonny to do it? Especially after four years when it's clear that he didn't do it, at least, you know, until the end, right? Um, but having him actually play a direct part and role in it as an accomplice, there's no contention in there, right? You know, there's no debate, you know, there's no contest there, right? Basil's guilty, right? And the fact that he may have been the one to push Sonny to do that, if you take it a step further, is insane. He's easily like, he. I'd argue he did worse than Sonny, right? Because I talked about how Sonny probably did the worst thing an individual can do against another and is to murder them and cover up their death. Obviously, the murder is an accident. The murder itself isn't what's bad, right? Because it's not like he committed a first-degree murder. It was an accidental death. But him covering up puts it in that same category, right? But if we know and I guess if we now know and accept or take that Basil was... Because here's the thing. Even if he didn't push Sonny, even if, let's say, Sonny just asked me, he's like, I fucked up. I need you to help me. And then he says, what do you need? You need, like, to call the hospital, like, ambulance? And he's like, no, I need you to help me hang the body. It's like, you got to stop him there. Because, again, like I said, it's one thing if he was just an onlooker and he was watching it happen and didn't do anything. And kind of he was having an internal struggle between coming forth or trying to let Sonny, him wanting to see Sonny do it, especially so close. But him fucking helping as that has happened after he's already been traumatized by accidentally killing his sister, that's – there's nothing there. Basil is guilty as hell, right? Because if anything, you may as well attribute that – cover up to him right you can't attribute the death to him but the fact that it got covered up in this whole situation debacle that's happened over the four past four years that's happened to everyone that can all be attributed to him for not stopping Sonny there right if, if not taking it a step further and actually actually you know partaking in and you know pushing him potentially pushing him towards that that's just insane like, there's just nothing there. Like, if, if anyone deserves to, you know, be put on trial and, you know, suffer for what they've done, it's Basil. Because, like, that's psychotic. Like, I get it. He's a reserved, shy, timid character. He's, ooh, I hate how the fucking community of fandom treats him. He's, ooh, uh, it's like a ooh, little uh, soft boy, right? Like, whatever they call him. This dude, like, literally caused the entire events of the game. I can't emphasize that enough. It's like, because here's the thing. It'd be one thing if, like, let's say, Omori, now Omori, Sonny killed Mari. And then it's like, oh, God, what have I done? And he called him. Even if he said it was an accident. Even if he said, like, you know, covered it up, like, oh, she slipped and fell, right? That's still better than what they did. They did the worst thing possible. And Basil is... The cause for that, because here's the thing, right? Even if Basil, because it'd be one thing if Basil was just on onlooker, right? Because then he had to watch his son, he did that. And then he has that internal debate of does he come forth? Does, again, he wait for Sonny to do it, right? But the fact that he actively participated in it may have even taken it, again, that one step further, pushed him to do that, right? Like, because even if Sonny, like, asked him to do it, right? Like, oh, Basil, I need you to help me with this. Like, Basil, like, he should have been like, oh, what do you need me? Call an ambulance? Call 911? He's like, oh, no, I need you to help me hang the body. It's like, th what the fuck are you saying? It's like, you you need to stop. Take a minute. Like, calm down. Like, that's a fucking situation we're in. Even if he's shy, timid, reserved. Like, I'm that way. I am shy, timid, reserved, introvert like he is. I'm not going to fucking hang one of my friends from a fucking noose on a tree. Like, uh, like I hate to say it, all right? You know, I mentioned in some of my other Omori videos how I went through kind of a similar situation. Obviously, what did I say? I said similar situation, different circumstances. Or I guess similar scenario, different circumstances. Because I was older and it was less extreme. It still involved someone dying, but it was older and I was older and less extreme. So and it was less extreme. So again, similar situation, different circumstances. But something to where, you know, I, I wasn't out there fucking trying to cover it all up, you know, prevent fucking uh the truth from gay now spinning it in an even worse light you know for just i guess i don't know to try to protect one of my friends because here's the issue right you 
like there's just no justification you can use for Basil in this situation. Like for his mindset, like for his mindset, like what kind of mindset, you know, what kind of logic, like what kind of, you know, thinking are you using there? If you're in Basil's situation, you're saying, oh, of course, let's let him. Because Sonny, at least you can make the argument, you know, he's delirious, he's delusional, right? You know, he needs to cover it up. You know, so that, you know, he can delude himself and reject reality. That's all right. But Basil, who didn't fucking do it, there's no excuse there for him, right? There's no line of thinking that he should actually end up going through that. Like, so the the person who I said, who I was arguing with, who said Basil did nothing wrong. They were saying he was doing it for, to protect Sonny. That's some shitty ass protection. You know, Sonny ain't living a good life. His life sucks ass. Like, it's just... It's insane. I'm getting, like, fucking worked up over. Like, I can't emphasize enough how much his life sucks ass. Like, if you're saying you're protecting his life, man, his life sucks ass. It's not a life worth protecting. Like, the, the literal... I, oh, my God. I can't emphasize it enough. The two endings to the fucking game, right, are him either telling the truth or dying. There's no other ending. So it gets out regardless or he fucking dies. Like, it's like there's just... Like, listen, this Basil, I'm not even going to title, is Basil guilty? It's going to be Basil is guilty because there's just, I, I just don't, because here's the thing, like, I still like the fucking game, right? I even like, I'm going to be honest, like, I'm sounding harsh, you know, it sounds like I'm being harsh and critical. I like Basil's character, you know, I like his character and kind of, you know, well, obviously, I like the whole chasing after him in the dream world, right? And how that kind of translates over to the real world, seeing that, you know, fight against him and something, right? You know, how he acts in the real world as well. Right, you know, kind of the beef he had between him and Aubrey, you know, what he did and kind of how Aubrey reacted. Like, I like his character. I like all the characters in the game, you know. There aren't any characters I dislike, right? You know, and it's funny. It's funny, too. It's hilarious, too, when the same people who, you know, love Basil for being a little little uh, bean, right? Little bean sprite, you know, soft boy, right? Hate Aubrey for being mean, but it's like, Basil, you know, Aubrey didn't fucking kill anyone. Aubrey didn't cover up anyone's deaths, right? You know, there's a, there's a very low bar set there that, you know, is not being met by two of the characters in the cast, right? But again, it's just something to where it's like, like, like I like his character, but it's like, again, you know, to, like, to actually try to defend his actions and, you know, say what he was right, like, you're just insane. Like, if you unironically believe he did nothing wrong, like, or that, you know, what he did was right, as opposed to just, I don't know, there, I, I can't see the logic there. If if you, like, believe what he did was right, you know, I, I hate to say it, you probably need to get, like, checked out. Like, this is being entirely unironically. If you can somehow justify what Basil did, you probably don't belong in a functioning society. Like, there, that's, that's the issue, right? There's just no, like... Any other character, okay, make an argument about, right? Like, even make an argument about Aubrey, right? Saying, oh, she's selfish for what she did, right? Like, that's fine. Like, I'm fine with those kinds of arguments. Granted, I don't think they're true. But obviously, that's partially because I'm biased because Aubrey's my favorite character. But it's also, well, I guess behind Mari. But she's dead, so, so she doesn't count, right? But again, like, that's fine. Like, I don't care if you think that. You know, you can even say the same about Sonny. Like, I understood what he did. Like, you can say, oh, no, he's just psychopath. Like, I'm fine with that. Like, make that argument. But if you try to defend Basil, like, don't even talk to me. It's just like, I don't know. It's It's been 14 minutes. I'm kind of rambling on. I think I'm getting to hear. That's just, that shit just pisses me off so much. It's like, there's just, I don't see any possible way you can actually defend his actions and what he did. It's just insane. But anyway, moving forward. So what else? I'm going to make, I'm wrapping up the anime I'm actually watching currently, and it's, I, I'm going to make a video on this one. Low-key, you know, I, I've, I've got to make a video. So that's what I'm going to do once that's done. This should probably be the last Amori video, and then, who knows, right? From there on, we'll see, we'll see. But I'm going to end it here. I don't have anything else to say, so yep. That's it for this one. See you in the next one.